Every second weekend of October, the religious festival of St. Paraskeva brings around a quarter million, sometimes more, of pilgrims to the city of Yash. Although I live in Yash, not only have I never been to the festival itself, but every year I avoid the city center altogether during this time because it's very crowded. But this year I have a Ricoh GR3X, so I'm a street photographer. That's how it works, right? <laughs> So I went to take pictures of it and I'll just explain a little bit about what I saw as I go through the selected pictures. This is not a documentary. It's not a comprehensive explanation of what's happening here. I don't even know all that. It's just some pictures that I took and what I saw taking them. The waiting line was about three kilometers long. It's a well-organized line. Streets are closed for it. Extra trash cans brought by the city alongside. Police presence everywhere to help with the flow, etc. The waiting times can go up to 36 hours from what I read and there was an estimate at some point that up to 70,000 people were waiting in the line at any given moment. The end goal of the people in the line is to reach the cathedral where, with the occasion of the festival, the physical remains of St. Paraskeva are taken out of their usual resting place. I don't know exactly how, but I know that while you can visit her resting place any other day of the year, something is different at this time. The religious festival coincides with the city days, so there's a mix of religiousness and celebration, food, markets, concerts, and whatnot. There's also speeches, religious and political, sometimes the prime minister comes. Being a huge religious festival in a pretty religious country, there's this side to it as well, but I wasn't interested in that part. I wanted more to get a street feeling of the people and what they're doing. On the main street of the city, which sits right between the city hall and the cathedral, the typical hipster terraces are overtaken by pilgrims. You can play a guessing game and look around and try to guess if someone sitting at the table is someone that just came down for their flat white or whatever, or if they're a pilgrim. Not always, of course, but typically the pilgrims are dressed differently, as you would expect someone who most likely spent 5, 10, 15 hours on a train ride in order to get here and then waited for one or two days in the line. They are also, explainably, more tired and they usually have luggage with them. If you see them relaxing over a drink or eating something, or just sitting on a bench or in a park, then most likely they've already been in the queue and seen the saint. I have no doubt that some come to Yash on these days and don't wait in the line. They just come for the other things. And, and I don't have the exact numbers, but I do think those are a minority. Buskers all around. This gentleman was singing the Lord of the Rings theme and this lady gave him a thumbs up, which extracted a smile from him. This kid was singing the Beatles, Let It Be. His father was sitting back, encouraging and filming him. Some do it for the money, obviously, but this kid I felt more like a personal project. Different stuff to eat and drink on sale, souvenirs, traditional garments and also something specific to these days and a bit outdated in my view at least. You don't see it any other time of the year, but with the festival, a lot of fur and leather clothes salespeople come to town. I don't know who buys this, I don't know how much they sell, but they probably do since they keep coming back every year. But all in all, it's something associated with the festival. You can also buy sweets, clay pots, souvenirs, and apparently natural cures for pretty much any sickness. All or most of these stands are traveling salespeople. They come here from other parts of the country for the festival and then they go to other cities and other events, I assume. There's a lot of street food, mostly lots of meat, <laughs> beer of course, but also a lot of wine you can get by the glass as Romania is a mix between a beer drinking country and a wine drinking country. There's a large number of members of a Roma community that come to the festival, a lot of them dressed in their traditional colorful clothes, which makes them great photo subjects. They're also usually very expressive, typically stick together in family groups of at least several, and that makes them very dynamic. It seems like there's always something happening in their crowd. You can also buy balloons or take pictures with Mickey Mouse. Going to the cathedral itself, the yard is full of people going in and out, resting, sleeping on the grass. Some go in, do what they have to do and get out quickly, but, but some linger, stay on the grass, rest, observe, absorb. Look on TikTok. This guy was singing something to his little dog. There's a constant flow of people going in and out of the actual church. Typically, for most of the year, the remains of the saint are in this very church. But for the festival, I think, don't quote me on that, they take them out and take them to a nearby building. So that huge queue is for that building, not the actual church itself. But obviously, a lot of people, after they stay in the queue, they also want to visit the cathedral church. So this is about it. We had great weather this year. 
being mid-October in some areas it's miserable, but not this time. All in all, a lot of people, very crowded, the city center is full, but overall a very relaxed and chill atmosphere, everyone minding their own business.